the first question for uh, for you is, what do you think are the most important issues and challenges facing the county? Well, there's a lot of issues and challenges facing the county right now. One of them still being 911, the consolidation or potential consolidation of 911. Um, there's the communication factor with uh, with the county, just within the, the county itself, um, talking with different uh, offices and with uh, just the people in general, trying to get more citizens engaged to to uh, to be part of the the system, I guess, as part of the the uh, process, not the system, but the process. And that's one thing we've learned going out is that most people ask us, "What does the commission do?" and and what are they what are they here for? And um, you know, I, I try to answer to the best of my ability with, with what the definition of what the commissioners do, but really uh, people are just uh, not happy in the fact that nobody is out and about to see them. Uh, so communication is, is, a, is a huge issue. Um, our debt is, is also a huge issue. Um, we have to work on getting that down by raising our sales tax. And how do we raise our sales tax? Well, there's a multitude of ways of doing it, but one thing that I would like to do is work with the chambers and try to promote local business uh, growth in, the, in having local shopping more done than, than, uh, than what's being done. Uh, your outline areas such as Pacific and, and uh, Sullivan, it's too easy for Pacific to go across to St. Louis County and shop and not stay within Franklin County. It's also the same way with Sullivan to go to Gasconade County. Um, Gerald could go to um, Gasconade County and, uh, and shop. So how can we get those people to continue to shop Franklin County and the benefits that? That'll increase our sales tax dollars, which will help every entity. So why do you think you are qualified for the position? Well, I'm one, I'm willing to step up and, and actually be part of, of a solution, not a problem. Um, I also believe that, uh, that, again, every generation should step up and take their part. And it's time for a new generation to, to take over leadership and, and uh, uh, work forward to, to seeing a better, a better county. Uh, Really, I don't think I'm any more qualified than anybody else to do the job. Um, I have four daughters that, that too can't wait to get out of the county. I really want to see our county grow and, and strive to where they want to stay in here. Um, and I want to see, our again, our county prosper and make it a, a, even a better place than what it is and what I know it to be. My business background uh, helps me with the administrative position. That's primarily what the commissioners are, are doing is an administrative position. Um, I've had over 30 years of experience in our family business. I've had 15 years of actually running um, our family business, and um, again, I, I believe that, that that brings me a, a different level than what we currently have right now. Could you tell me, uh, why should people vote for you? Well, <clears throat> um, I would bring a new voice to the county. That's been our slogan through the whole, whole campaign. Um, I'm willing to go out and actually have meetings, uh, not only at night, but in different areas at the, at the uh, uh, once a month in different areas of the county. Uh, one of the questions is asked is that uh, why aren't they doing it now? Well, that's a great question. You know, why don't we ask our, our commissioners now why they aren't doing that? Even if you get one or two more people there at a meeting that has never been there before, that's engaging with the citizens um, that have an opportunity then to be at the meetings that are not currently there right now. Um, my business background, um, and, uh, and I will definitely work hard for the people. There's a difference whenever hiring people my whole life, you can tell the difference between somebody that has a fire that wants to do the job and somebody's just there for a paycheck. And I believe that uh, right now our current commissioners have just that need to, uh, to have a paycheck and, and not the fire to do what's right for, for the citizens of Franklin County. So can you tell me what is your educational background? I'm a Pacific High School graduate. I have an associate's degree in business management from East Central College. Then I went on to Missouri Southern State College and received a Bachelor's of Science in Speech Communication. So what jobs have you held? I've had two jobs my whole life. I've uh, worked for my family through our ice plant and through our standard oil business that my father first started, and I also worked for Walmart. Well, working for a family, we did everything from scrubbing toilets to, to managerial work. So there was nothing from point A to point uh, Z that we didn't do in a family business. With Walmart, I started out as a, uh, as a cart pusher and worked my way up to working into a department. Uh, when I worked for Walmart, they, uh, they honestly did not have any idea how to handle me because I came from a family background and questions that they had. One in particular was uh, when I was hired on, one of the questions was if you caught somebody stealing, would you fire them? And I, I didn't answer it. And they asked me why. And I, I told them, I said, well, what were they stealing? Were they stealing merchandise or were they stealing time? 
and nobody had ever heard that phrase before, stealing time, because coming from a family business, we saw it all the time. Our, our motto was, if it's time to lean, it's time to clean. And it, uh, you know, you see it all the time where, where people are, are doing something different, so they changed the question because of, of an answer that I gave them that they weren't really prepared for. So have you held, held any positions in public office before? No public positions in public office, but I have, uh, have and currently I'm president of the Pacific Chamber of Commerce where I've served 14 years. I was a past officer of the United Way with the uh, being secretary for the United Way uh, for two years. I'm current board president of the Tri-County Senior Center in Pacific for the last four years. I've been on that board for eight years. I was uh, on the Mercy Advisory Board for three years before they went to a community uh, advisory board. Um, I serve on the uh, Bankstar board and am part of their executive um, uh, board with uh, Bankstar. And I've served on numerous other boards throughout the county um, with chambers and, and with our school district. And those are the, are the major ones that I've been on. Okay. And you were in the planning and zoning. Oh, yes. I, I served, yes, that was an appointed position. I served on a year and a half for planning and zoning. I resigned from that position whenever I was able, whenever I was successful in getting my petition for the uh, position for independent candidate for presiding commissioner. I resigned from that position of planning and zoning for the fact that I felt that ethics, uh, there was an ethical decision on the fact that I would be voting on something down there and possibly could still be voting on it as presiding commissioner uh, if I'm chosen by the people. Okay. What changes would you try to bring to the county if you're elected? Well, if I'm elected, one of the biggest things I would try to change is just being out and being being more visible. Um, we've heard numerous comments of, of, you know, why do why do politicians come out only during election time? Um, why is our concerns only concerned to you whenever it's election time? Uh, I've gone to almost every municipality uh, in the county and sat through all their city meetings so I could learn more about their cities, to learn more about what it is that they do, and I plan to continue to do that once I'm elected. Um, I want to be there. I can't be at everything every day, but I do plan on being out and being visible because, again, if you can't keep a, a pulse on the heartbeat, then you don't know what's going on out there, and we need to stay in contact with our people. The, the flow chart for the county, as well as any government, is the constituents are on top, and then it's the elected officials, and somehow we've lost that. And that's something that, that I'm not going to do. And again, if my fellow commissioners don't want to do that, the question that their constituents need to be asking is why? Why aren't you out there doing the same thing? Why aren't you representing everybody like you're supposed to be doing and not just certain entities? Is there anything else you'd like to add? appreciate everybody's vote November 4th. Uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this. And, and uh, I look forward to, to serving the people. Um, if I am so gracious enough to be elected, I'll be rolling up my sleeves from day one and we're going to hit the ground running and just uh, continue to do what we can for the citizens of Franklin County. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for having me today.